Okay, so in this short part for the tutorial, I would like to talk about finalizing your menu. Uh, the f sorry, finalizing your prison, and talking about the finalized menu. So you have three options. That's it. Um, it's pretty simple, and it goes pretty much in order. First, you want to validate. Then you want to export. Then you want to publish. Validate is checking to see if you have the most basic stuff required. Um, that means, um, do you have enough beds for all the prisoners? Do you have enough desks for all the prisoners? Uh, are there objects under your doors? Do you have enough beds for all the guards? Do you have the right zo zones assigned? All that stuff's going to be, be checked by Validate real fast. But it's not going to catch a whole bunch of other stuff. It's only going to catch sp very specific things. Um, but it's a, it's a useful place to start. So we're going to validate right now this prison finally, and uh, we're going to see if anything is missing. Now, I know that the warden's note isn't really fully complete, but I think I filled in some jibber-jabber, so it might accept that. Um, maybe we'll go do that before we validate. And I also left something specifically wrong, and I'm not sure if it's going to check it. Um, I, I won't spoil it until after we validate, but you can see it on the screen right now. There's something I've done, and we did have one of my fans was raving about it when I first did it. They were like, you made a mistake! And I was like, shh, I, I know. Did it on purpose, and we're going to leave it. Uh, hopefully it will catch it when we validate. Um, I do have a funny story. When I was doing Lake Town, which is the last, the, my final map that I did, um, I validated, and for the very first time, it validated with no problem. And I was so happy. I was like, oh, I'm finally a map maker. I, I know what I'm doing. And then I went into the game to play the first day, and it was filled with bugs. I had like a list a page long that I needed to fix. So uh, pretty funny, pretty funny. Uh, don't uh, d don't get too proud. You know, stay humble. Stay humble. Um, but I think we will. Let's go over and check uh, properties real fast. I did put some stuff in there, but let's give them a name. Um, we have to think of a proper name. Oh, we're going to keep calling it Prison Project Tunnel, aren't we? Yes. For now. But we did have a final name for it, but we're gonna, we are going to save the name for when we publish. Uh, so we're going to keep calling it Project Tunnel for right now. And we're going to call the Warden... We don't... Uh, play... Tester. Thanks... Thanks very much. Thanks. Name for helping me play test the map. S you are awesome. It's awesome. Smiley face, smiley face. All right, sweet. So now we have a, a, a warden and a warden note for anyone who wants to help me play test the map after I do the one-day playthrough, um, which I will do as a different thing. We'll go through and show how we fix all those bugs, which will be the next episode of the tutorial. Um, we're going to try to keep them short, because if I try to put two together, like I was thinking of putting those two together, but if I put them together, this could run an hour again. So I, I want to keep each thing separate and focus on doing that so it stays short for you guys. Otherwise, I know I lose attention. So, uh, that's done. I'm happy with that. Cool. Jobs. Main. We're going to change this stuff again. Um, putting in uh, dollar sign name puts the name of the, the, the player entered for their character. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're good. Um, what is next? Let's go validate and see what it catches. Hopefully, it just catches the one thing we left. Here we go. Don't blow up. There it is. It did catch. Look at that. Well, first of all, it caught number two. It says, map has no light sources yet, which is true. We didn't put lights in. Thank you for reminding me, Lair. Or, sorry, uh, Lair. Uh, finalize, validate. Woodshop job have, but no container. Woodshop job, but no furniture. So, yep, all three of them, except for the lights, caught what we did wrong. We basically did not, we filled in um, the wrong area. We've put in a, a metal shop with a metal shop zone. So let's go fix that right now and put in lights. That's a good point. 
prison's never the same. Uh, let's go with no, 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 no. Did it change our stuff? Yes. Ugh. Okay, so we have to go back to that. Um, warden playtester. Thanks. Name for helping to playtest the prison. You are awesome sauce. There we go. No problems. No problems right back to what we had. He's good. Okay, so what we wanted to do there was save a new one. 21. Yep, just like so. And that way if we mess it up we still have 20s just fine. All we gotta do is change the warden note. Um, so again, let's go into zones first because that is the most dangerous. Click on that and we do delete. Where's my delete key? Yep, and let's just do this again. And we call it Woodshop. Beautiful. We go out of there. We go to ground. Uh, we gotta destroy this stuff. And put in the metal shop, yeah. Or sorry, wood shop, yeah. Uh, jobby jobs. Okay, we have the timber to get it and the furniture. There we go. So let's put that there. Let's put that there. And let's go ahead and put um, some tables right here. That's cool. I'm cool with that. That's cool with me. We cool. We all cool together. Uh-huh. We cool. We all cool. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. That should now be fixed. And there's the light source for ground layer. Right there. So, where do we want a light? <coughs> well, can't put it there. Can we put it, like, right there? Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. It's fine. Let's put one there. One there. Make it nice and light. Uh, we will place uh, one in here. All of the jobs we should have light sources. Nice and bright. We'll place one all along here. Boom, 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 boom. One over there as well. We should have one upon entering in there, one there. <coughs> Okay, we should have one in there. There should be one here, right on the player. Actually, you know what? Let's just fill this puppy up with... Yeah. Uh, do we want one in the cells or just in the hall? <coughs> okay. We'll leave the cells a little dark. Should we put one in each cell? And let's not forget the other places over here. Let's put one there. Let's put one there. Uh, let's put uh, one there and one here. Let's put one here. Okay, obviously we need some good lights for the library. This guy needs a light. This can stay a little dark, I'm cool with that. Uh, let's put some lights inside here. Let's flood the gym with lights for sure. Make sure the whole perimeter has lighting. Let's go in deep with the lighting. For sure, let's do lighting in here. And let's uh, do lighting all around here. Anywhere we do not have stuff. 
lights in there, lights in there, lights in there, lights, 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 lights. Okay, so now we've met the criteria. We have lights everywhere that needs to be lights. Lights, mate. The lights, the lights, the lights, the lights, the lights, the lights, the lights. Okay, so we should be good. Now let's validate again. Actually, let's save it. Project 21 is what it should be, right? Yeah. Project 22. You could probably delete the project part. Probably knows that part. Okay, um, now we validate again. And that's how you do it, folks. No errors found. That's what you want to see. No errors found. So, now that you've done that, what are we going to do next? Well, the next thing is to export. And it allows you to do this now that you have uh, no errors found. So let's go ahead and do that right now. ProjectTunnel.cmap is now live. We are n going to, in the next episode, play that day one and fix any bugs that we get. The last thing here in Finalize is to publish, but that's going to put it on Steam. A lot of people, as soon as they export it, they go publish it. And uh, we, we just don't want to publish yet. You want to play test, play test, play test, play test, play test all the escapes, everything that you can until you get tired of it, um, and then go to publish. Okay, And if you have people that are willing to help you to play test, that's even better because it takes some of the load off of you. Uh, but definitely you should do the day one or day two, first two days playthrough just to see any major glaring bugs. Try to test out uh, the different jobs, see if any of the NPCs are losing their jobs. But this is stuff we'll talk about in the next episode. But real fast, let's just click on publish, and let's just talk about it. So. You're going to take the C map that you just, um, we'll go over this again when we actually do publish, but just real quick since I'm covering the finalized menu. Um, you put the C map you just, uh, you just ex exported, the final one. You can browse for it instead of typing it in. You can put an image with it if you like. Um, you can put it the title of the prison, put your description of the prison, but you can edit the title and description later uh, much easier within Steam. It's not a big problem. And then you, you flag your difficulty, your style, the status, whether it's completed or not. Um, this is just saying, is it like a YouTuber, fictional prison, real prison, uh, game tribute, uh, and this is difficulty, uh, which is just, you know, easy, normal, hard, impossible. There is actually no uh, normal tag, it's a medium tag, so there's a whole, there's no, no prison in the normal category, or medium category, yeah, that's it. And visibility, who can see it, friends only, private, or everyone, and update, no, publish new map and you could say, no, I'm updating one of these other ones that I have that are part of what I already got. As you can see, they're all listed there. I'm also listed as a creator uh, on Woodbury Correctional because I helped playtest it. And apparently, Ohama Prison as well. I did not know that. And my prisons, of course, that I've made. Cool. So, and this is saying, no, publish a new map. So that's how you also update your prison or whether you publish it to Steam. And once it goes on there, it's pretty finalized. You can change it, but some people have a problem with a bug where they are unable to change it. So now that I've got that CMAP file, I can distribute it, I can play test it, and like I said, uh, that's what I'll do on the next episode of the tutorial. So stay awesome, guys, and I will see you on the next one.